Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles, and welcome back to Blender for Noobs, and welcome back to the tutorial on designing your own car. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to be doing some rough end modeling. So, we're going to begin the modeling process on the car itself. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a file, save as. And I'm just going to change this to part four, just so it will be in line with the number of the tutorials. And I'll call this modeling. And just save the file. Okay, so we need to go ahead and start uh, getting this, basically, our cube into the what looks like a car here. So before we start doing anything, what I'm going to do is cut this cube in half and mirror it. Because, uh, as you may be probably aware, every time you have something like a car or airplane or anything like that, uh, that's symmetrical, it's the same on both sides, you want to use your mirror modifier so you only have to model one half of it, which, of course, makes your modeling twice as fast. So in order to do that, from the top view, all we need to do is tab in the edit mode. I'm going to do a control R edge loop and come down here so it'll cut it in the middle. Uh, lengthwise and just click twice, select twice so it's right there in the middle. And then I'm going to come down here, move this over so I can see it, select faces, and I'm just going to B box select all these faces here so you can see, going to Z especially, you can see a little bit easier. All those faces on one half are selected, and I'm just going to choose X, delete faces. So we're left with one half. Tab back into object mode, and then come over here to your modifiers. Choose add modifier, and choose mirror. And immediately, you have your cube again, except if you tab in edit mode, you can see that you're really only seeing half the geometry, because that's the half that you're going to work with, and everything you do over here will be mirrored over to the side, which is great. Um, if you're not seeing this, you may not have the correct axis checked here. Make sure you have the x-axis. Um, you also want uh, clipping, clipping. can't really see it all there, but it's clipping turned on. Uh, if I leave that off, let me go to vertex view and just select one of these vertices. If I happen to move that middle vertices, it's going to rip apart like that. Um, if you turn clipping on, you try to move that. It's, it's clipped there, so it's not going to move, which is what, what we want. Okay, so now that we have that mirrored, I'm going to go back into 7, top view, uh, make it Z so we can see our background image, and I'm going to choose control up arrow, go back to full screen so we can see what we're doing. So when you start modeling something like a car or a plane or really anything, and you're doing it this way, what you want to do is you want to look for the points where the geometry changes at an angle. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, try to see a real good example right here, probably something like the beginning of the windshield here. This is the top of the car and it goes down to, to towards the hood here. So that's like where you have a rough angle. So anywhere you have those kind of changes in your geometry, geometry is where you need to add more geometry so that you can create that. And the best way to explain that is just to start going ahead and, and, and doing it. Uh, but before we do that, I'm just going to B box select these vertices here. And if, you, uh, if you're not seeing vertices, just select your vertex view here. I'm just going to pull this down a little bit and B box select this and pull this up just so it's right where it needs to be. Again, I'm not taking the whole cube and moving it. If you do that, you're going to get it all out of align with the other views, but just adjusting, fine-tuning fine the, uh, the size of it, I guess, so that it fits the background image. Okay, so what I'll start here at the back, the rear of the car. Um, we have geometry here to bring it over, over to here, but as you can see, I have this angle here, so it kind of comes to a point right here, so I'm going to choose Control r create an edge loop, select once, and if you do that, you can move that edge loop around, and I'm just going to bring that up to that point where it starts changing, right about there. 
Now we're going to need some geometry to do the, um, the trunk opening also, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to need some geometry along this bevel here to make that, but since I'm doing just a real, you know, basic rough end, I'm not going to worry about that. But right here is where the rear window kind of starts sloping up. So I'm going to do a control R, bring this to about right there. Another control R, bring this down or up to the um, top of where the roof of the car is going to be. Same thing over here, control R, bring this up to where you start to get the top of the windshield there and control R and bring this up to the bottom of the windshield and then maybe I'll go ahead and do a control R and do this where the start of that bevel for the front wheels go control R to where it ends here and that's also the point where this kind of curve stops so we're good there so now we can start adjusting some of this geometry if we need to so like this I'm going to do a B box select because remember we are selecting not only the top one but there's geometry underneath that as well. And I'm just going to move that over to that point there. I'm not going to move this one over to this bevel because I'm not sure what yet I'm going to do with that bevel. I think it's going to be lower uh, and it's going to come out at, at a bevel but we'll see. Just depends on how I do that. And then I'm going to come all the way to the front of the car. B box select these vertices and just bring them over kind of where that geometry starts. In fact, I uh, might even bring this up a little bit. Right about there. Okay, so if we choose Z, we can see we're starting to see something, but it's not a whole lot. I'm going to choose Control Up Arrow. Let's go into this the uh, side view now, control up arrow, and we're going to do basically the same thing. We're going to look at uh, points where angles are sharp, and we're going to need geometry there to add in. So I'm going to choose control R, add an edge loop, and I can see that I need one right in, in this area here because this is a pretty sharp point where the start of the hood goes. Uh, I can see one here as well where the, you have the start of the um, windshield in the end of the hood really. So control R and somewhere like right in there. And you can see here also my uh, my reference images aren't really lining up. This would be this line right here, if I can alt select that, is really the start of that windshield. And then one thing I didn't see from the top view is this kind of uh, angle right here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Control R and put an edge loop right there. And then again, looking across the side of the car, um, I do have the very top of the uh, back here, but I think I can use the existing geometry that's there, pull it down. So I'm going to leave that as it is right now. For the top of the wheel wells or fenders, I have this line here which should suffice, or this edge. So now we need to start moving our geometry around. I'm going to Alt select this edge here and I'm just going to bring it down. I'm actually going to use this for the bottom of this line here and use the top for the top of the hood. I think that will work out better hopefully. So having done that I need to move this down away from the top of the hood and these as well. So these I'm going to move down and so I don't get them in a bad area with these other ones here. I'm just going to move them in a little bit, maybe right there. And I'm going to grab these and move these down as well, but move them a little bit further over. Something like that. Take, oop, need a B box select the ones on the top and bottom. So I'm just going to move these down right onto the hood. And let me make sure that is the start of the windshield it is. Okay. So this one, the middle. Now oh, that's actually, let's see. Yep, it's in the middle. So this one, 
are these I can move right onto the windshield this is where it needs to be these need to come down a little bit And then this I decided was going to be curved, so um, I'm going to add another edge loop there in a minute. I don't want to do it yet until I get the uh, front view done. And then these, let's move them right up to about right there. And coming back along the bottom, we'll do the wheel wells and after I do the front view. And we'll come back to the front here. And this one actually needs to come back to about right there. So if we look at our car now, you can see that it's starting to kind of get molded into a car, hopefully. So control up arrow. Now we're going to go to the front view, do the same thing. We still need to look and see if there's any geometry that we need as far as the front view that we haven't added already. Um, kind of hard to see here. Let's select all. So we have the top of the, you know, the top of the roof. We got the windshield. We have the front of the hood, I believe. Um, we're going to need the bumper part eventually. I don't think I want to add that in quite yet. So let's go ahead and um, work with what we have existing here and just move these to where they need to be. So I'm just going to move this over. And as you can see, the front view is not lining up either, but that's okay. It's just a very rough, rough guide to help us along. So now that we have our basic, very, very basic roughed in car, a few things we need to finish up on is some of these places where we're going to have curves. And by the way, one thing that I didn't do is I didn't bring these down to how they kind of slope down a little bit. Okay. So over here on the back, I'm going to go ahead and add Control R, another edge loop. And going to take this and bring this up a little bit so we'll get that um, be able to get that curve in there and same thing with this going to bring this down a little bit and really this will be where the fender is and we we'll probably need one right here uh, also because the start of the uh, the fender's there, so we'll need it anyway. But I was looking at the uh, the top of this um, rear windshield where it curves down there. Okay, so for the wheel wheels, what you need is you need uh, geometry on both sides of the wheels and one right in the middle. But you also, in order to get this curve here, need two on each side of here. So I'm just going to choose Control R. Put one right there, control R, put one right there. Same thing for the front, we have this one, but we need another one over here, control R. So that's the start of the wheel well. Need one in the middle, control R, put it right in the middle there, and then a couple over here. Okay, so then when you start to create the wheel well, what we'll do is we'll take all three of these. Start moving them up a little bit. And then these we will use to create our points. So we have the top is this middle one. 
So I'm going to choose C, use my middle mouse button to deselect that one, and bring these down like so. So you just have that kind of a, starting to get that wheel well set up there. Same thing for these. Just going to B box select all these here, bring these up out of the way. B box select these, bring these up, C select, deselect this one, and bring this down here, and maybe even scale them along the Y, S, Y, bring them out a little bit. And it looks like we probably can do with another uh, edge along the edge here, so R right in here. And with that, I'm just going to take what I had here, bring this back down, and use this as the very bottom, which it should be. And take these, and that will help create the bumper there. And kind of the same thing for this. Take these and bring these down a little bit. And that can give us our space there for the rear bumper and then for over here control R add another edge loop and that'll be our area for the front bumper so if we choose Z go back into object mode and take a look we have our the, the beginnings of our car it's roughed in we'll do a control S quick save So I think not looking too bad to begin with. Um, if you want to get kind of an idea or maybe some encouragement of how the car is going to look, you can also, with your object selected, add modifier and choose the subdivision surface modifier and go ahead and bump this up to two views. Choose T, smooth it, and you can kind of see that you know your car is going to look halfway decent when smooth but I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here so I'm just going to turn that off for now and choose flat shading for that so now I mean using the reference images that's probably as far as I can go with the reference images I mean I'll use them a little bit more for maybe the tire placement and things like that but um, we're pretty much on our own as far as starting to continue with designing our car so in the next part part five we're going to continue with the modeling process and start to further refine our car. So I'll see you in the next video.